Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got another makeup tutorial for you just on this look right here, uh, which is a bit daring, but I did it on my Instagram quite a while ago and quite a few people said they wanted to do a tutorial on it, so here you go, here is a tutorial. Um, I was testing out some new foundation and stuff in this tutorial as well, which kind of went okay, but kind of didn't, so watch on to find out my views. And also, if you just want to see how I got this makeup, uh, a fun, colourful, glittery cut crease thing, please carry on watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Oh, by the way, yeah, I cut my I cut my hair off, <laughs> which was fun. So, okay, so we're gonna start by priming this eye with concealer, and I'm using the collection Lasting Perfection Concealer for this. When that is done, we are going to start off doing the crease colours first. So, I'm gonna be using first of all the Masquerade palette by Juvia's Place and I'm going to take this colour here which is called Burkina just on a big old fluffy brush oh wait I need to set primer first and I'm just going to use like windscreen wiper motions just to blend this through the crease we want to take this a little higher than you would normally take a crease colour just because when we cut the crease out we want this still to be Peeking up. Be very messy with this. Get that nice blown out look so then we can build up the gradient. So then the next colour I'm going to go in with is from the Morphe 35O palette and I am going to basically mix this orange and this orange together um, and just create like a nice uh, bright orange kind of colour and then I'm going to go in with the same brush and just blend them through your crease as well. Just to kind of get those initial orangey tones coming through. So I'm using exactly the same blending technique for those. Okay, and then to deepen up that crease and get that sort of red colour, I'm going to go in with Ada from the Juvia's Place palette again, and I'm going to take this on a smaller crease brush. This is the Morphe E17, and I'm going to use exactly the same blending technique, so the back and forth windscreen wiper motions. As you can see, this kind of creates like the sort of cut crease shape already. Like we can see where that cut crease is gonna go. And then I'm gonna go back in with my initial brush and no extra product and just work on blending that out a little bit, getting that gradient back again. And then to deepen up the crease further and just make it a bit more sharp, I'm gonna go in with a tiny little pencil brush and I'm gonna go in with Ful 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 Fulani, I don't know how to say it, but it's a cool colour, it's like a dark brown, uh, a little bit darker than Burkina, so, and we're just gonna trace that crease with this colour. And then I'm gonna go back in with those two brushes that we just used, the bigger and the smaller crease brushes, and I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit with both of those, like so. Okay, and then that is the crease colours done. It's so simple, the crease colours. Um, and now we're just going to put some concealer on the back of our hand and we are gonna cut out that crease. Um, this is kind of tricky, so just take your time. Take it slow. Be patient with it and yourself and you should be fine. So I'm gonna start a little bit lower than I think my crease is in the inner corner. I'm just going to put a bit of concealer on my lid and then I'm going to look up and down and that just creates kind of the line so we know where to put the crease. Did any of that make sense? I absolutely adore this concealer for doing cut creases because it just does it so well. Okay, so. So then for the lid colour, I'm going to go in with this, uh, I'm filming upside down, with this bright blue called Chi or Ki or something, but it's just a very bright blue colour and I'm going to take that on a small flat shade brush and this is the Morphe MB16 and just pack that on top of that concealer, which just creates a really, really nice base for this blue. 
so it's going to be really really bright and pigmented and don't worry about making it super super neat at the top because as you can see we are going to add the line of glitter in there as well just really pack on that colour make sure that kind of metallic sort of look to it comes through like so and then on a smaller brush uh, just with any of the excess concealer left on my hand I'm going to go back through and cut the crease out again but just like with a little line this time you'll be able to see what I'm talking about hopefully am I even in focus? come on So now that the glitter has something nice to stick to, I'm going to grab it wherever I've put it. Uh, this is the Stargazer Glitter Shaker, and it's just a nice silver colour. And I'm going to take that on a slanted eyeliner brush like this, and literally just pack that on top of the concealer that we've placed down. Just create something nice for the glitter to stick to. Alternatively, you could use a glitter gel but I think I'm just going to use concealer for now. So when you're happy with the coverage of the glitter and you've got glitter literally everywhere like I do right now, I'm going to go back in with that blue shade and I'm just going to sort of neaten that up a little bit. Just kind of get rid of some of the excess glitter like so and just kind of redefine that lid colour a little bit and then after that I'm going to go back in with some of the crease colours and just sort of redefine them above the glitter again and that is the eyeshadows complete it looks quite complicated but it's actually not I'm just going to add a little more glitter because I feel like there's more on this side than there is on this side if you're wondering why they look like such different shapes this eye is actually a different shape from this one, so I do have different shaped eyes, which is weird. We just go with it over here, really. We just kind of, like, wing it and hope for the best. Okay, so once you are happy with the glitter and the blue and everything... Oh, God, there is literally glitter everywhere. So once you are happy with all of that, we are just going to go in and do a normal winged eyeliner, which I'm going to try my best to do. Like so, just a standard winged eyeliner. This one went really, really dodgy and I'm not happy with it, but we are just gonna go for it for this. And then I'm just gonna take off the sellotape and yeah, it's got a nice clean line. Okay, then for the concealer, for the lower under eye area, I'm just gonna on. I'm not going to set it because I am going to put foundation on after this and we all know powder and foundation do not mix well so and then for the lower lash line we are going to first of all go in with the Ada shade which is the more sort of red one that we used and then I'm going to pick up a tiny little bit of that Morphe orange colour on my big fluffy brush and just blend it out. That's lower lash line. And then finally, just for the inner corner, uh, I am going to take this colour here, which is just a really bright white shade and it's called Giza and I'm just gonna pop that in the inner corner on a pencil brush and this is the E24 from Morphe. And then just for mascara, I'm going to be using my normal Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. You could put on false eyelashes if you want to. We can zoom out and move on to the face, which is actually really exciting today. So, for the face, we're doing different things. By the way, I cut my hair short, as I said in the intro, sorry. Um, I'm actually going to be using some different products on the face today, which is weird. Not some different, like 
contour and stuff but different foundation primer so i picked up some goodies from the ordinary on beauty bay but i'm going to be testing out the the Ordinary High Adherence Silicon Primer and the Light Coverage Serum Foundation today. Uh, and we are going to see what these do and if they are great products, I think. So, this is what it looks like. It's quite a little tube, but it wasn't too expensive, so that's all good. Um, and I'm going to use the brush I normally use for primers, which is not a best brush in the world ever um which is the real techniques contour brush uh which clearly isn't being used to contour anything whoa it's like a cream how cool is that actually that might be enough oh it smells nice actually that's pretty cool that's like filled loads of my pores already huh you might, you might have noticed in my tutorials that I'm not really a primer person. I don't tend to use it that much. But this, are you going to come out anytime soon? Any more of you? That's probably enough. This is actually pretty cool. It smells really nice as well. Whoa. Because it doesn't, it doesn't feel too greasy on the skin, which is the reason I don't really use primers, because I feel... I find a lot of them feel really weird on the skin, um, so yeah. But I like this a lot, so I like I like you. You're cool, nice. Okay, so the foundation I got is uh, the serum foundation, which is a lightweight one that they do. I don't know what the other one's called. Something full coverage foundation maybe, and it comes in quite a little bottle like this, which is cool, um, and it's got like a pump but it doesn't have a lid on the pump which is a bit annoying um i got the shade 1.0 n which is very fair neutral so i'm hoping this will work because i don't really know anything about like cool or warm tones of foundation or what works with my skin so i kind of went for neutral because i was like okay yeah so shape for use gosh it, it sounds very liquidy it's very very liquidy Okay, so my sponge is picking up a lot of it, so I'm actually going to go in with a brush because, like, my sponge is absorbing loads. Gosh, it goes quite a long way. I just need a bit more of it. I mean, the colour is good. The colour match is really good, uh, which I'm pleased about. I did kind of figure. <sighs> yeah, I mean, it's not too bad. You can't really see that I'm wearing foundation. Uh, it's made me look very, very pale on camera though, which is always good. So anyway, we're going to move on to concealer. I'm just going to dot a little bit extra under my eyes, just to brighten up a little bit down there. Even though I probably don't need any more brightening up because I am pasty. Just on my nose because I always need more concealer on my nose. And then I'm going to go in with contour. What am I going to use to contour today? Probably the same thing I always use to contour with, which is the Sleep Contour Kit in the shade Light. I'm going to use the Real Techniques Duo 5 Contour Brush. Doesn't even look like I'm doing anything on camera. Love it. And then I'm going to go in with the big uh, Duo 5 brush and just blend out a little bit. And down onto my neck because otherwise I'm two different colours which isn't the best look in the world and then just going on my forehead a little bit as well okay so nice okay so then just to sharpen up my contour a little bit I'm going to take my sponge I'm going to take the flat end of it get some pressed powder on it and just whoop. can't even see what I'm doing because I'm too pale and then just blend that away a little bit like so and then I'm going to do the same underneath the eyes oh my god where is it where are you it's a nice peach so where's my coral one okay found my blusher found my blusher all is good all is right in the world okay and I am going to use the sleek coral oh my god just dropped I'm going to use the Sleek Coral Blusher. Ah, oh, I'm trying. 
And then for highlighter, I'm going to go in with the Sleek Solstice Palette and I'm going to mix the two shades at the bottom like normal, which are called Subsolar and Equinox. And then just for a little bit of an extra glow on my cheeks, I'm going to take that Giza shade that we used um, in the inner corner and just pop that over the top on my cheekbones. And then for lipstick, we are going to go in with... No, not that one. I'm going to go in with an old favourite of mine, which is MAC Well, which is just a sort of dark, kind of reddy, browny, nudey colour. And just pop that over the top of my lips, obviously because that's where my lipstick goes, idiot. So, and that, my friends, is the completed look. You know, there's definitely something to be said for overlining your lips. It makes me feel quite pouty and quite... So that's the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial, uh, even though it's a bit of shit, actually. Um, but, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. And if there's anything else you'd want to see, then please let me know uh, in the comments below. All the products will be linked in the description. Um, I hope... I don't think there's anything more to say so yeah I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video.